Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study how we can represent linear arrays in memory. As we know that elements of a linear array are stored in successive memory locations. If address of first element of linear array and words per memory cell of the linear array is known to us, then we can calculate the address of any element of linear array. Address of first element of linear array is called base address of the linear array. Now suppose there is a linear array A whose base address is base A, right? And the number of words per memory cell of the linear array A is W. Then address of element AK can be calculated by this formula. Address of element AK is equal to base address of array A plus W into k minus lower bound of array A. So therefore computer doesn't need to keep the track of the address of every element of linear array A. Computer needs to keep track of only of the address of the first element of array A. If an index K is given to us, then we can directly access element AK of array A. For example, there is a linear array B and a base address of array B is 200. Lower bound of array B is 5 and words per memory cell of array B is 4. Now we have to calculate the address of element B10 then it would be equal to base address plus words per memory cell of uh, array B into 10 minus lower bound right so it would be equal to 200 plus 4 into 10 minus 5 so which is equal to 220 so the address of element B10 is 220 A collection A of data elements is indexed if any element of A is accessed in a time that is independent of its position in A. Linear arrays are indexed because any element of a linear array can be accessed in a time that is independent of its position in linear array. Thank you very much.